Hi, my name is Toby and I'm a naturalist intern here at Beaver Creek Reserve. Megan's on vacation this week, so I'll be presenting this episode of Butterfly House Tours. In today's installment, I'm going to talk about two butterflies, the red spotted purple and the white admiral. But first, let's play a little game. I'm going to put four pictures of butterflies on your screen and give you five seconds to determine whether there are one, two, three, or four different species being shown. Ready? Here comes round one. Did you see three different species? Let's have another look. These pictures show one great spangled fritillary, one tiger swallowtail, and two monarchs. So even though there are four butterflies, there are only three different species. Okay, get ready because round two is going to be trickier. Here we go. This time there were actually four different species of butterflies. One Atlantis fritillary, one monarch, one Aphrodite fritillary, and one viceroy. Don't worry if you got this one wrong. Sometimes different species look so similar that they can be hard to tell apart, and it takes practice and close observation to tell the difference. Alright, let's play one more round. If you counted two different species, you were wrong! Don't feel bad though, this one was really tricky. Here we see two red spotted purples and two white admirals. But while they have two different common names and they look very different from each other, they are actually the same species of butterfly. What? It's true! As you can see here, white admirals have a fairly large range that extends from Alaska through much of Canada and into many of the northern states. Red spotted purples, on the other hand, are found primarily in the eastern half of the U.S., extending as far south as Florida. Now, you might have noticed that these two ranges overlap, and Wisconsin is located in the region that contains both butterflies. So, what caused these two subspecies to look so different from each other? Well, the red spotted purple's coloration is a sort of disguise that makes it look very similar to a butterfly called the pipevine swallowtail. But why would one species of butterfly want to mimic another? To understand this, you need to know something about red spotted purples and white admirals. They are delicious, well, at least according to the many birds that like to eat them. But not all butterfly species are tasty. Monarchs, for example, taste terrible, and they're also poisonous. Most birds who try snacking on a monarch either spit it out or vomit it up and never try eating one again. Another distasteful butterfly is the pipevine swallowtail. By stealing its look, the red spotted purple is sending a message to would-be predators that says, I taste horrible and I'll make you sick. In other words, it's lying. But if this is such a great survival strategy, then why don't white admirals just change their appearance too? Well, they could, but it wouldn't do them any good, because as you can see here, pipevine swallowtails do not live in the northern United States or Canada. So while a cardinal in Georgia might see a red spotted purple and think, hmm, that looks like one of those pipevine swallowtails, I'm not making that mistake again, a Wisconsin cardinal would be like, gosh, what the heck is a pipevine swallowtail? Never heard of it. So does this mean that white admirals are in greater danger of being eaten? Well, not exactly. They may not look poisonous, but they have another trick up their sleeve, or across their wings, actually. Their wide white band breaks up their shape and makes it harder for birds to recognize them as butterflies. This is an example of what's called disruptive coloration, and it's similar to the way that zebra stripes confuse predators like lions and cheetahs. Now remember that despite their different appearances, red spotted purples and white admirals belong to the same species. And that means that they can mate and produce offspring known as intergrades. In places like Wisconsin where their ranges overlap, these intergrades are fairly common and contain characteristics of both parents. Though we are nearing the end of butterfly season, it's not too late to get out and see admirals and red spotted, as they both can be found in Wisconsin through most of August. The best place to see them is in or near wooded areas. I've found many sunning themselves on the gravel road here at Big Falls County Park, just down the road from Beaver Creek Reserve. And of course, if you're looking for a great place to see a variety of butterfly species, come on out and visit our butterfly house. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. And remember, just because two things look alike doesn't mean they're the same. And sometimes things that look very different are more similar than they appear. Hi, I'm Eric Keisler, Executive Director for Beaver Creek Reserve. Thanks for watching this great educational video from our staff. 
find out more information like this and others, check out our website at beavercreekreserve.org. You can also support us by being a member or donating to our endowment campaign, which is supporting Beaver Creek through this COVID-19 crisis. Thank you. We appreciate your time.